All right, hello once again, everyone, and welcome to finally a story content update. As you can see, the beach no longer has cones, and everyone's running towards it. The Lotus Sun Beach has finally released. Unfortunately, no Atlantean yet, but that will be next month if no delays happen. But enough said, let's go check things out. Also, just a heads up, I'm like half an hour late to this update, and I have seen a lot. Thankfully, not much of the story, so that's cool. And we're immediately in a cutscene. Well, we finally made it to the beach. Oh wow, the ocean looks so clear and sparkly. This is going to be the most dead tone narration. It would be really fun to hang out here for a while. I completely forgot about Starla. What do you guys think? I don't think we have time to relax right now. Maybe after we've helped my name find all the remaining chunks of the stone tablet. Alright, I guess I'm reading this way too fast. You finally made it. Now that we're all here, we should talk about how we're going to get it to Atlantean City. Lucy just mentioned that the only way into the city is via submarine transportation. Why did I expect that? Yeah, Lucy and I have been to Atlantean City before to see family. Ooh, new characters. The whole city is under the ocean. Pretty crazy, right? I don't think I like the sound of living in a giant bubble. What do you think, Starla? Did, did it just blink? It's kind of weird for Lumion to be as quiet as Starla is. Yeah, I haven't heard a single peep from it. I think Starla is just shy around everyone else. Everyone but you, Mabel. Yeah, Starla hasn't left your side since it joined us. That's okay. That just means it must really like me. Oh, by the way, has your father talked to you about any more potential stone locations? So you still haven't heard from him. Well, I guess we can ask around once we get to the city and see if anyone has heard anything. Is he dead? So where exactly do we go from here? The beach? Where? where I, I think there's a place to board a submarine at the docks on the beach. It's been a while, so my memory is a little fuzzy on the details. That sounds simple enough. Let's go ahead and make our way there. We'll meet you at the docks. Thank you for ending the cutscene. I was, my voice is already dying. Okay, yeah, never mind. I'm just gonna... Is that it? Is it? What? What's that guy doing there? I didn't... Well, would you look at that? The candy... How am I... Why, why are they there? I wonder what that could possibly mean. Huh. And this is where I believe everyone thought is where we were going to come from. I guess that's just a whole other area we haven't unlocked yet. And now time to talk to 15,000 NPCs. Let's go. I can't talk to those. If you want to turn, you will have to wait for this match to end. I don't know when that will be. These two have been going at it for a while. Ah, that's... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what I was trying to say there. The Surf Shack. I want to give surfing a try. You see people on TV surfing with their water type Lumians and they look amazing together. None of my Lumians are water type though. Maybe I can try and train my calf not to swim. Huh. I assume this just hasn't been implemented yet. Interesting. So we quite literally surf in this game. You don't have a... a oh, there's a score beach ball too. The water in this cove is pretty calm and there is a lot of shallow water. If you run around in the shallow water long enough, you might run into some wild lumions. You have to walk a ways out before you get to the deeper water where you can swim. Oh, I'm sure this would look a lot better with higher graphics, but I gotta... Uh, doo doo laptop. Oh well. Oh no, I forgot to pack that diet dribble do. The only thing here is sugary drinks. I'm gonna lose my figure. Every character in this game is the same figure, don't worry, but 
I want to learn to surf, but I've got no balance out on the water. My favorite surfboard has a print of my favorite Lomian. I would bring my Krakaloa with me, but he hates water. Which is perfectly reasonable. Yeah. Oh, there's someone on the... They are... They are literally burning. It's my job to make sure that everyone stays safe in the water. My friend Dripple and I are the perfect team for water safety. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Uh, probably not here. No way am I going in there. The air smells funny and that weird statue thing freaks me out. It feels like it's staring right at me. There's nothing to worry about. We'll be in and out real fast. I'll protect you if you stay real close to me. Oh, there's another area here. A new move leaked. Could there be a rock bashing move? That's the first time I've ever seen that in this game. So that's now the third one of those statues that we've seen. I'm gonna try to... Ah, no, that's right. There's the water, you know, I don't look, <laughs> don't look the greatest. Oh, whatever, we'll deal with it. That was fast. What in the world is that? You know, I just have to say my classic catchphrase. Oh, I have like a pose in battle now. That's pretty cool. This music's a vibe. I also like that I can't even see the Lumion. Because it's so deep in the water. This music really nice though. I don't know why there's this outline around everything. <laughs> is there a reason for that? I, I can't even see how many times my disc is moving. I bet you if my graphics could go higher I could probably see this a lot better but whatever. And there we go. Let me just get back out of the water. I guess this, this, there isn't really a Lumicare area to check, so I can't check my PC. I guess uh, while I'm pressing every wrong button. Okay. Let's see what that was. Oh, wow, that is far. Oh, boy. Lumica. Be careful where you step on the beach. Lumica burrow themselves in the sand on the ocean floors, leaving only their spike visible for those unsuspecting to be stung. Huh. That is... 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and I assume that would have... That is a... Okay, that's a lot of Lumians. I think we'll do the hunting for later, because I'm sure there's uh, important stuff going on over there. The chance of a Lumian attack may be low, but it's never zero. And the chance of a cow breaking in your house may be low, but it's not zero either. Come on, dude, the water's perfect. Don't worry about the wild Lumians. They won't attack you if you leave them alone. Oh yeah, and then the UGC. I completely for I forgot they released this, despite they literally released it like a couple hours ago. Yeah, if anyone wants to buy some Lumian Legacy merch, and this is like actual UGC accessories, uh, you know, like the bees here. <laughs> you can actually wear them. But anywhere you go, this isn't just a Lumion Legacy only thing. And yeah, you just step on, you can buy it a mask. Yeah, why wow, that's a... Oh no, I just doxed the amount of Robux. <laughs> anyway. I'm taking a break from the sun. My poor little Kabunga's leaves get dried up if he stays in the sun too long. I don't know why talking to, to this person, a random gust of air just hit me in the head. Yeah, I have to assume this is where we're going next. You have a bubble over your head. I'm getting too old for this. What am I doing, you ask? I'm collecting trash from the ocean that has been discarded by others. This... Okay, I just skipped that. Ever since Pollute Corp settled itself in the Sephirite City, loads of trash has been dumped into the ocean. It's gotten to the point that roughly one-third of my attempts at reeling in a fish result in pulling up garbage instead. Occasionally, however, I pull up some pretty interesting objects. You look like you're in good shape and maybe even have experience fishing. How about we make a deal? You bring me any trash you fish up from the ocean, and I'll trade you some of the more interesting things I've found. If I could get a... 
What? If I could convince more people to help clean up the ocean, then maybe one day we could return this beach to its former glory. Well, with that said, I'll be waiting for you here if you happen to collect any garbage. Okay. We've traveled from Atlantean City to check out the fancy new cyber gear that is designed and manufactured in Sephirite City. Okay. I love taking trips to the surface just to feel the wind. Atlantean City doesn't get windy, understandably. I mean, yeah. Is this where the cutscene triggers? Because that person just appeared. Yeah, well, I'd have to assume you can't go here just yet. The submarines that travel back and forth from Atlantean City are just underwater buses. True. Having said that, they are really fun to ride in. Oftentimes, you will get to see all kinds of amazing underwater lumions through the windows. Why did I think that was a new loom? My husband... I just keep skipping everything. Home in Atlantean City for the weekend. Oh, they booked a home. There's so much to do there, including a battle theater, which you're not going to get to see today. To think that there is an entire population of people living out there under the ocean. I can't decide which is crazier, an underwater city or a flying city. Nice. A lot of snaggles around. I didn't know I needed to buy tickets to ride the sub to Atlantean City ahead of time. Apparently they are all sold out for quite a while. The only way to get one now is to ask the owner of the sub company. I'm told he frequents this establishment, so I'm hoping to find him and beg for one. Relatable. The food here is great. It's so great that I sometimes leave my home in Atlantean just to get my favorite fried seafood. And we can go in here. Oh, this is smaller than I was expecting. You got sea loaf, barnacle soup, kelp and bacon, diver dance, delightfully delicious deep fried dredge drumsticks. Now that sounds amazing. I gotta say it again. I ordered diver dance, delightfully delicious deep dredge drumsticks. My family back in Atlantean asked me to order extra and bring it back for them. This is their favorite restaurant. Dan is an old friend of my family. He used to be a pretty serious Lumion trainer before he opened his restaurant. He and his Lumions would travel all over Roria, battling other trainers and searching for flavorful foods. My throat is getting so dry. Why is it just a singular turkey leg? Huh. I wonder if they kill and eat Lum. Well, I guess the only thing to do now is to, to go to the angsty teen gang. Let's go. Angsty teen gang. No way, you mean we can't just buy a ticket right here and now? Sorry, kid. You need to buy tickets online a few weeks in advance if you aren't a resident of Atlantean. Well, how are we supposed to know that? That's weird. I don't remember it being like... Being like that when we went to visit our Aunt Luna. What are we supposed to do now? We can't just give up on Atlantean City. We've come this far already. Surely there must be another way. Actually, as chance has it, there might be another way for you to get ahead of a hold of some tickets. You see, the owner of the submarine company happens to be here on the surface right now. Where? He's actually visiting the Dive and Dine restaurant just over there. No, he wasn't. Dive and Dine is his favorite place to eat. He frequently travels up from Atlantean City to eat there. If you're lucky, you might be able to convince him to give you some extra tickets for a ride today. Thank you for the tips, sir. My pleasure. Let me know if you succeed in getting tickets and I will be happy to sail you to Atlantean myself. Looks like we have no other choice but to go into Dive and Dine and ask the submarine owner for tickets. Let's go. Oh, finally. I hope this place serves good food. I'm starving. Of course you are. Listen, did the guy just instant transmission because he, he, was, he was not there? And now he's there. Oh man, I can't decide what I want to order. Oh, that was a basic sentence. Oh man, this is delicious. That was another basic... Oh, I couldn't... Okay. Mr. Ferrick, sir, these children would like to have a word with you. Dude really ate two slices of... Would you like me to send them away? Oh, goodness, no. 
Baxley. We never turn away the aspiring youths of Aurora. They are our future, after all. Yes, sir, as you wish. Now tell me, children, what is it you would like to discuss? Hello, Mr. Ferrix. My name is Jake, and these are my friends. Hi, I'm Mabel, and this is me. Also, ow. The others over at the bar are Lucy and Lucas. It's a bar. All of us came by to ask you a question. It is certainly nice to meet all of you. What is it that I can help you with? We heard that you own the business that handles transportation to and from Atlantean City. Yes, that would be me. I've owned the business since before the creation of Atlantean. Originally, we simply provided deep sea tours, but after the relocation of Anthean, wow, it's canon, it served a second purpose. Have you young people had the opportunity to travel on my subs yet? That is actually why we are here. You see, we're on an important mission and we need to reach Atlantean. The problem is, we don't have tickets. Oh, I see. That is quite disappointing. What exactly is this mission of yours? That information is a bit sensitive at the moment. All I can say right now is that it's very important that we reach all corners of Roria collecting information before a potential disaster strikes. Is that so? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't think I'll be able to keep help you kids on your little adventure. My submarines are for paying adults and residents of the Great Atlantean. It's not meant for children on make-believe adventures. Whoa, jeez. Sir, I'm not lying about our intentions. We really need tickets to reach Atlantean. I'm really sorry, but I can't help you. If I handed out tickets to every person that asked me for one, I would go bankrupt. It's just business. I understand, sir. We're sorry for taking your time. Not at all, Jake. I'm sorry that I am unable to do more what happened here. If you'll excuse me now, I must finish my meal and return to Atlantean with my daughter. Actually, please go and check on her, I guess. Yes, sir. You children shall let Mr. Ferrix finish his meal now. Let's regroup outside and figure out what to do from here. There is so much dialogue. Sorry, there isn't more I can do to help. You understand, right? Nah, you just big corporate mad. Oh no, Amelia! Who? Camellia? Do not panic. Do, no one's gonna get that. Help is coming. I feel, oh, why do they have such a pronounced nose? That looks really weird. And so do the, why, why do the, oh, their front angle looks so awkward. Let me turn the graphics up a little bit for this cutscene. Since things are already starting to, like, disappear. Where did they come from? Somebody please help me. 10 out of 10 voice acting. Please save our friend. Those things attacked us out of nowhere. We got it on time, but Millie isn't a very fast swimmer. No worries, girls. Triple and I will handle this. I'm not yelling that. Oh. Ooh. That looks sick. It is also gigantic. Oh my god. What is that thing? Oh wow, I'm lagging a lot here. Things just got a lot worse. Uh, that one's pretty big. Triple, are you ready? Triple, we need to help that little girl. If we don't help her, who will? Oh no, little Millia needs help. What am I going to do? I am turning the graphics back down. This isn't looking good. That girl needs help right now. I think there's enough time for one of us to run down and help her. You should be able to... You should be the one to go. Yes, please go help her. Let me heal your Lumians before you go. Alright, that should... I don't even need to heal... Anyway, alright now. Be quick. Those Lumians could strike any moment. Oh, we actually just... Okay, we're immediately into it. Now, something tells me with Samarine's design here... I wonder... If Samarine is going to be like the Lumion we need to serve, because like it literally has a piloting zone. Anyway, mystery level, a mystery level. That's interesting. Is it like actually tough? 
considering I only did half damage at level 45. Amelia, thank goodness you're safe. I cannot thank you enough for saving my sweet little Amelia. Jeez, why do they have such a pronounced nose? Anyway, if you had not been here to save her, well, I can't even bear to think of what might have happened. I, too, would like to express my gratitude. What you have done today was truly remarkable. I am a really talented trainer. Sure not. I had no doubt that I would be that, that he would be able to stop that Lumion. I'm really trying to just not say my name. It's true, he even has a few battle theater medals to prove it. Is that so? Well, well let me tell you, I'm actually the battle star of a, if that's the case, you should test your skills against Atlantean's battle stars sometime. I wonder who it could be. Well, we'd like to, but we still have no way to get there. Well, now you do. Baxley, treat each of our new friends to their own pass. Yes, sir. You and your friends received Atlantean travel passes. You stored your Atlantean travel pass in the items app. The pass says it's for platinum VIP members. Sounds fancy. Oh, God. We're gonna, we're gonna delve into the deep corporation crap. Indeed, you may now use my submarines to travel to it. What in the, What was that? Anyway, to travel to Atlantean any time. I'm sorry. Anyway, the Platinum VIP Pass is good forever and has... Is good forever. Okay, and has unlimited uses. The only way you can come across passes like these is through me, so be careful with them. Thank you so much, Mr. Ferrix. Well, this has been quite an eventful day already. I think it's time we head back home. Amelia, please say thank you to the trainer that's... I love video games. Amazing. I'm... Thank you. She must still be a bit shaken up by her recent experience. She has PTSD now. You know, it isn't normal for Pollute Corp Lumians to attack swimmers like that. I'm gonna look into this when we get home. Anyway, I would like to thank you with one last thing before I go. Please take my contact information. Hey, what do you mean by that? You added Mr. Ferrix on your Lumi watch. I can do that. If you have time while you are visiting Atlantean, give me a call and I can make some time to have you over to my home. I would like to treat you to some of Baxley's wonderful sea soup. It would be my honor to treat our new friends. Alright, it's time for us to go. You kids have fun now. Let's get you home now, Milia. How much more talking do I need to do? Also, wow, they are walking so slowly. Oh, hey guys. What did we miss? A lot. Quite a bit, actually. We can talk about it on the way, though. We managed to get passes to travel to Atlantean. I'm so hyped to visit Atlantean. It feels like I've waited a year for this moment. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's not dawdle any longer. They, re they really had to do that, huh? Yeah, just rub it in. It's funny, though. Hey, are you ready to... Oh, okay. <laughs> they, really, they, really <laughs> they really put cones on the text. Oh, come on. Oh. Well, hurry up, then. What, are you gonna make us wait another year? Okay, so story-wise, that wasn't... too much, which... I'm not even mad about that. Let me actually get a good look at this thing now. Wow. That's a lot longer than I was expecting. It's a little slug inside of a shell. If that thing doesn't evolve, I don't know what will. And now I guess it's just the hunting part of the video. Oh, boy. Oh, there's Snaggle. Honestly, I'm surprised there's not, like, a single ounce of grass or anything that you can just find Lumians in on the sand. And with every single new Lumian, I'm just gonna check the Pedia. Oh! Well, there's Sam... Oh, so I get to see what Sam Marine looks like now. I actually kind of like this color scheme better than the Corrupt. That looks cool. Interesting that it's there. So I guess we should be able to get 
whatever the pre-evolution is called, because we still don't know. At least I don't know, because I haven't found it. Snaggles. Snaggle live near the ocean. Due to heavy tourism, they now depend on scavenging for food from beach visitors. It's just a pure air type. I honestly don't remember if that's what it was before. Ooh! Also, oh, that sound was adorable. Makame. Makame. I, I'm gonna assume it's pronounced Makame. It could be Makami. Makami. I'm gonna say Makame. That sounds more like a Pokemon. I assume that's one of the rares, since that took a while for me to find that. And I guess we'll go take a look at the details. And it seems like Snaggle can evolve once, maybe twice, if there's a single stage Lumion. Wakame. Did I say Wakame? Makame have hard shells protecting their body that closely resemble a seashell in appearance. They can produce a variety of loud noises from their shell. I could see that evolving in the... Probably some sort of sea dragon. Maybe that's going to be Lumion Legacy's Lapras bootleg. Hey, yo, is that a snaggle with a sandwich? I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna catch it. I, I actually don't know if this... If I sh should even bother catching this. But it has a sandwich in its mouth. So I'm gonna catch it. I guess I'll just fish next to this dude. In case I get any trash. And trash loot. Uh, yes, time for Osu, my favorite... Uh, re Oh boy, this is gonna be annoying. Like, I'm just trying to get Lumians, and I was like, "Oh, you got trash instead." Oh my god. Oh okay. Immediately. I think this is the thing on the game icon. Cavenish, cavenish, fish. And time to check the Lumipedia again. And okay, I guess this thing can evolve twice, maybe. Cause if we're getting like a bunch of just three stage evolution Lumians, that would be crazy. Cause Snaggle could evolve twice, this guy could evolve twice, this fish could evolve twice, and then that would leave whatever the shark Lumian is called to evolve twice. And then what, is this guy gonna evolve twice? Cause there would, there's already 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15. Like, there's at least 14 Lumians. That is a lot. Like, you know, I was expecting a lot from the beach, but I really was not expecting 14. Man, if anything fishing has taught me in Lumian Legacy, it's taught me I would be horrible at playing Osu. But then again, I'm using a mouse. Oh, 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 oh there it is. Not really the name I was expecting. I guess that's all there. Oh, okay. So it is just a one st So there's three after the fish. It's kind of funny how this little tiny shark evolves into a massive submarine thing, but whatever. Developed by Pollute Corp to clean up the oceans. What? Shark pods scoop up trash as they speed through the water and convert it into fuel for its body. Yeah, self-powering. Oh yeah, actually, you know, I didn't even bother to look. What does this guy give you? Uh... Wash the opponent away with an overwhelming amount of water. It drains a small amount of their energy. Attack all surrounding Lumians by crashing a large wave into the battlefield. Trick your opponents into using their moves on you, if able, instead of their original target. And dark shards. A damaged shard which seems to reduce a Lumian's unique speed. Oh, okay. And mystery thing. Ooh, what could that be? Huh. I guess we'll just go and talk to the rest of the NPCs that I haven't talked to yet. Uh, oh, it's a battle. I'm collecting seashells with my Lumians right now. If you're here to poach on my turf, you'll have to go through us first. Is this the rematch trainer? Oh my god, how many Lumicas do you have? I keep one-shotting every single one. 
Polypi. Polypi, polypi. The camera. What the? I thought it was going to be an evolution. What is that thing? I almost don't. Hold on. Let me get the. Let's the camera load in some more. What in the heck? Oh, okay, the camera. The, the camera's in a bad position, and it's not even gonna. Huh. A little. It's like a baby jellyfish. It looks adorable. I wonder if we can catch that or not. You're welcome to search for she cells. Oh my god, if you like. Let me see, your rematch trainer. Our last fight was pretty fun for me and my Lumians. Want another go? Yep, okay, rematch. Yeah, I'll do some fishing, why not? Let's see what I can get. Maybe I'll get another boot. Oh, okay. It's another Kyvanish. Is there any other characters I can talk to? I don't think so. I can just get out of the water now. Well, I guess that's all. I would assume. I feel like I've gotten just about all the rares and whatnot. And yeah, there it is. Okay. Polypy. Polypy. Polypi. I don't know. We are like right up next to the roamings. And we're only on. We're only on like Route 9. AKA not put the beach. Ha okay, that's pretty. Wow, we're gonna have a lot of Lumians, aren't we? Oh my lord. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't even. Ah, it doesn't have a description. Does it have heart eyes? It does. Ah. Interesting, this thing only evolves once. Also, I don't think I read the description of Cavanish. Cavanish? Cavanish? I really don't know how to pronounce that. Cavanish? I'm gonna go with Cavanish. Closely resemble the flowers of a plant that are not native to Roria. What are you implying there? For this reason, researchers believe that these Lumian are native to somewhere else in the world. What are you impl What are you implying? Hey, don't just don't just say that and leave me with nothing. Yeah, that is interesting. So that means we have one. Hold on. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 4, yeah, 14 Lumians. 15 if you include the jellyfish, but you can't get it. Huh. I'm really curious if this thing's gonna have like a... I just realized there's a... There's a kiss sound effect with that fish. Anyway. Does it have like a... It evolves once and then like a split evolution, maybe? Because I don't know... Unless there's another Lumion, this evolves once, and then there's another Lumion, and it evolves once. That's the case, no idea where that could be, because I feel like I've... Because, like... This was, like, a common one. This seemed to be the rare one in the shallow water. This seemed to be a uncommon one in the shallows. This was common in fishing. This was rare in fishing. I don't know. Okay, I wasn't entirely sure, so I decided to look it up. Um, and I, frankly, I feel like an idiot. I completely forgot about the crab. I just completely forgot that. The crab that they literally showed in the teaser for the update release and I just forgot about it. I feel stupid. Oh, oh, there it is. Kanky. Kanky. I like that name. Almost kind of makes it sound like it's a monkey lumen. Like Kanky. Like a candy monkey. New sweet retreat lumen. Okay, now that should be all. And now we go back to the underwater mining lab. Honestly, I think the Route 8 trainer actually has better uh, grinding for XP. So I'm probably just gonna keep up with that. 
Look at all those guys. Ah, the sandwich is part of the sprite, so that means it's... It has something to do with it. Like, it's actually part of the sprite and even the 3D model. I wonder if that's, like, incredibly rare. That'd be hilarious that I just found that. I don't think I've seen anyone else have a snaggle with a sandwich in its mouth yet. Which is a weird thing to be looking for. I guess we'll get a good 3D look at this thing now. That was way too close. This thing looks like it has ketchup on it. Um, I really like this one, especially the mesh, very quality. And, the, and then there's just sharp pod, which looks better. Maybe that's why they kept showing it at this angle, because this angle looks kind of funny. It's got such like this massive gap here with no, uh, it's a little silly looking. This angle looks kind of better. And then Kanki. Oh, Water Brawler. That's interesting. Huh. Either way, nice design. And of course, we can't forget about Lumica. I, that sound, man. Really cute looking. Honestly, I think for the funny, I'm gonna evolve the Snaggle that has a sandwich in its mouth. See if there's like any difference with that. Well, I guess now that we're at the uh, boring part of the video where I just battle the same dude 500 times, I guess I'll start the casual chit chat. Um, yeah, so the whole Atlantean thing being delayed, again, not even that surprising, but it is interesting because, you know, they were aiming for late March. So I just wonder how far into April it's going to be. Because if they were planning for late March, it's, it might be like early, mid-April. I don't know how they would end up taking a whole nother month. I don't know. And then there's Soul Burst, which I'm still kind of confused. Obviously, I don't know how Soul Burst is going to work or how we even get it. Because... The fact they have to delay Soul Burst is weird, because I would just assume you get Soul Burst, and you have it, and pretty much most of the work would just be designing new, like, Soul Burst Lumions. But it seems like there's gonna be more to it than that, I guess, because I don't know why they would need to delay it, if all it is is just Lumion designs. Alright, I believe literally all of them got a level, so let's see if any evolve. Oh, okay, Makame. Ooh. Makame evolved into Makaro. I like it. Oh, and we're getting another evolution. I'm genuinely curious if I'm just gonna lose the snaggle with a sandwich in its mouth. I wonder if what it evolves into is gonna have something else in its mouth. It still has the sandwich in its mouth. <laughs> okay. Snaggle evolved into Snagulp. Venom Chomp. Poison typing. What? Okay, another evolution. Oh, Kanki. Okay. I thought this guy was going to need a much higher level. Why not? Oh, my. What? I was expecting an amazing design from this Lumion, but I wasn't expecting it to just completely change what it was. It went from a crab to a frickin', like, earth dragon thing. What the heck? Can key evolved in the canny bow. That looks amazing. Another evolute Jesus. I have to finish the Lumipedia already. Oh my god! Lumica evolved into Lumello. That looks insane too. 
I love these designs. What the heck? Oh my, another evolu- I'm literally just evolving every single one. Okay. Like, I knew they were already pretty high level, but like... What? Okay, well, I can't really appreciate this design that much. Because I can't really see it. Uh, Banfino. Banana Dolphin. I can tell because the banana is there. And it's a dolphin looking thing. And it literally made a dolphin sounding noise. Are we done? Okay. Wow, that was a lot. Oh my. That is a lot. Okay. So we got Snagulp. Air Toxic. That's weird. Snagulp has an immunity to the toxins on its body that it acquired from ocean pollution caused by humans. Yikes. Makaro. After evolving, the shell on Makaro's back has ripped apart and left as tattered remains hanging from its back. In time, the remains of its old shell will harden again and form a new one. Huh. Ooh, I like it. Picasso. Anyway. Banfino hunt together in groups called pods. Together, these Lumians are capable of taking down larger and stronger prey using coordinated strikes from their pod. And then this thing is just insane. Cannibo. The patterns on the backs of Cannibo resemble the faces of twisted spirits. What? Okay, legends say that the the Cannibo are reincarnated sailors who were lost at sea. What kind of lore is this? And then Lumello just looks crazy. Lumello's shell is comparable to a fortress. The spikes on its shell can be scattered around itself, adding to its protective traits. And I guess we'll look at them in 3D. These are crazily well designed. Like these look awesome. This is insane. This one's gotta be like the best design for me. Marker. I like that. And Banfino is honestly Banfino pretty. I like this. It's crazy. These evolutions are so drastic. Like, it's so weird. And then there's Snaggle with a sandwich. Amazing. Alright, finally, another evolution. Something to talk about. Snaggle is evolving. I wonder if they're gonna try to do anything unique with the sandwich now that I've made it to final evolution and still with the sandwich. Though it would actually be hilarious if they just kept the same sandwich. Oh. Oh, it just ate the sandwich. Snagoop. Snagoop. Okay. Alright, Snagoop, air toxic. Snagoop has evolved to now secrete its own toxic sludge from its body. In an ironic twist, Snagoop uses its toxic secretions to attack people visiting the beach near its nest. Uh, it's there wouldn't have an apostrophe, by the way. Just saying. Anyway. Yeah, so they did do something unique. And instead of just a sandwich, it now just has that. So it just gave up and ate the sandwich. Very cool looking Lumion. I like it. Alright, and another evolution. It's time for Makaro. Ooh. I shot a big boy. Sukame. 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 I'm just, I'll just say it like that. Very nice looking. It looks like Blastoise, but with a more modern design. Now let's see that in 3D. Oh, it's got a big... Nice. Anyway, it's got a big old shell. 
I like it. I thought this was a ponytail at first. It's not. <laughs> yeah, I really like this design right here. Very nice. Anyway. Alright. Finally, Sharpod is evolving. And this one now be the last Lumion of this update. Ignoring the jellyfish, she can't get that. As much as I would love to, that thing is adorable. That's a that's a very appealing. I I, just, I I see a little face right here, and that that's that that's the Lumion. That's why the camera angles focus so much on its fin. That's the actual. Anyway, Samarine. I don't have much to say about it since you know I've already seen it. And I guess of course got to look at the Lumipedia entry. Samarine can fit a single human passenger into its cockpit, allowing for personal underwater traversal. Ha! Huh. This allows Pollute Corp scientists to study deep ocean discoveries. Interesting. I don't think I read... Yeah, I didn't read this one. Sukame... Su Sukame... Su... Sukame will gather once a year on the beaches of Roria to lay their eggs. During this time, they will emit sounds from their shells that the locals refer to as the Sea Song. Definitely, I'd say, a pretty nice update. I really want this jellyfish. Anyway, um, anyway, like I was saying, definitely very, very nice update. Um, there's definitely going to be a lot of people that look at this not realizing that the Atlantean update was split and think that it took Llama Train Studio over a year to make just a beach. So that's going to be a fun discourse to see on Twitter because it's always Twitter. But yeah, these, the Lumion designs, every update, they just keep getting better. And I mean, obviously, more time, more experience in doing things, you're gonna get better at stuff. You know? But yeah, just taking another final look at some of these Lumians. Except these two, we literally just looked at them. Um, yeah. Pretty good update, I'd say. Maybe this update would be more well-received if it was the whole update and people wouldn't feel like it was small because now the Atlantean updates probably gonna feel smaller or maybe you won't I feel like with the addition of whatever kind of thing we're gonna be able to do to get to deeper parts of the water cuz I mean that that has to be the thing you get from the battle theater I don't know why it wouldn't it's a water type battle theater unless it somehow isn't but it's, it's got to be surfing, and that unlocks quite a lot, you know. So I still think the Atlantean update is going to give us a pretty good chunk of content. Um, there definitely are going to be some more Lumians. No idea where Poly P is going to be found. Poly Pie, I don't know. But it's going to be found somewhere near. And then there's all these Varis that we still don't have. It would be interesting if there actually is a water-type Vari out there. I haven't heard of it yet. Anyway, with all that being said, I completely lost my train of thought. Um, I believe they actually added other evolutions. And I do know how to get them. But, uh... I don't know. Might as well just leave that up to the viewers, you know. Okay, so just ignore everything that I was saying um, in the outro there. This is me a couple hours more in the future. It's like almost 4.30. Uh, got both of the evolutions that I was talking about. And ironically, they're kind of some of the weakest designs of the update. No offense. Um, Puff's evolution looks... It's just really funny looking. It's all, it's, it looks kind of weird. I ain't even gonna lie. Um, 
And then Propay's Evolution is... Actually, Propay's Evolution isn't as bad, but it is still just kind of, it's kind of funny looking. And then um, I also got a Gleaming. While trying to get the rope, I found a Gleaming. It's a beautiful Gleaming, by the way. I love the color scheme. I, I can't believe I found a Gleaming before getting that damn rope. Anyway, back to the present. But either way, that's... Yeah, that's about all for this video. I don't know why I, I had to think if there was something else. There was, but I'm just not doing it. Anyway, that's about all for this video. And I'll see you again, hopefully soon, with Atlantean City.